Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name's Caitlin. Welcome. Today is um, a great video, great time. We're loving life today. Um, <laughs> this video uh, I'm gonna say right now before we even get started, trigger warning for eating disorders and depression and things like that. If you're sensitive to that, please don't put yourself through something that you can't put yourself through, it's fine. I'll see you next time, I upload three times a week, there'll be something else coming soon. Um, but today, yeah, we're talking about uh, my relapse. <laughs> Ooh, <clears throat> I'm gonna make a lot of jokes in this video and like make light of a lot of the situations. That's not because I don't care, that's because that's how I cope with things, so don't, don't. <laughs> yeah, but just before we do get into it, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, it helps me out a ton. And YouTube doesn't like me at the moment, so... <laughs> As always, on Fridays I do sit down and I do my makeup and I talk about something that's happened in the week, um, my thoughts on things, just have a bit of a chat, and that's what we're doing today. Sometimes it's fun, and sometimes it's a little bit more serious, and that is what today is a little bit more serious. I've started off with my base on because I look like a mess. Uh, my new birth control pill is not happy with my skin at all. So I've done my base and we're just gonna get into it. <laughs> so this is one of the last times that I'm gonna have my current shop my stash my current shop my stash rotation. So I'm just kinda using stuff from my shop my stash and getting my final thoughts about it. So that's fun. I'll stop waffling and I will get into the actual subject of this video. So if you don't know, I do suffer with anorexia quite badly. Um, I've had it for two years now. Yeah, it's like two years to, on the dot, pretty much. Like March, April, two years ago is when it first started. So two years. I did make a video about like my eating disorder and like how it started and things like that. So if you are interested in that, I'll link it down below. Um, just a little bit more information about this. But basically, I started not because I wanted to lose weight but actually because I went through quite a traumatic ordeal and um, I just didn't eat, I just stopped eating. It wasn't a conscious thing, I did it completely subconsciously but I, yeah, I just stopped eating and I remember at my worst I was eating an apple and a Kit Kat every day, that was my, <laughs> my sustenance, sustenance, suster, I don't know the word, <laughs> who knows. That was my meal plan anyway. I'd have an apple for breakfast and then at college there was a vending machine and I'd get a Kit Kat about three o'clock-ish. And that was when I, yeah, I really got quite bad. So my mum took me to the doctor about it and they referred me to a special like eating clinic. Um, so I went there every week this was about a year and a half ago, um, a year to a year and a half ago. Um, but because of COVID, I had to kind of stop, stop going there and it, it kind of stopped. So that probably wasn't the best thing for me anyway, just having my, my treatment just stop. Um, I had a few like phone call sessions after the, the place like closed because of the pandemic. Um, but th that was only about two sessions. And then I was pretty much on my own. I mean, I hold my hands up. I did have the opportunity to go for a follow-up appointment like quite a few months after, but I was just, I wasn't in the place to do that. The eating clinic was it like 20 miles away and I'd have to get the bus and I'd have to get up early and you know, <laughs> like, so that is my fault. I could have gone. Um, I'm not saying everything is never my fault, obviously. I do hold my hands up to that. But like at that time, you know, there's a pandemic, there was, you know, I didn't know what was going on with college. I was just stressed. Everyone was stressed at that, that point in time. So I didn't end up going. But to be honest, for a long time, I didn't think I needed to go. Um, obviously with anorexia and things like that, I don't notice when I lose weight. Like if I, like I don't think that I'm skinny, but obviously a lot of people disagree with that and a lot of people are saying no you do need to get help but like, I don't see it I think I'm a normal weight which you know 
according to everyone else is not the case and I do understand that you know it's it's a thing that I'm gonna have to like accept but it's just strange like if someone's saying to you the sky is green and you're like no the sky is blue and they're like no the sky is green what are you on about you're like okay <laughs> so you just start believing that the sky is green like that's what I that's the little analogy that I always make because I don't see my weight, I don't see, I just don't see it. I'm gonna use my Huda Marv Obsessions. I haven't really used this much in this shot moustache. So, ooh, that's a lot. So I just made a point to use it today because it's one of my last opportunities. So yeah, that's kind of like a little bit of backstory, I guess, to everything. Um. And to be honest, over the past few months, I've been, I think I've been eating pretty good. Um, every time I go home, my mum always says, oh, you've lost weight, oh, you've lost more weight, oh, you've lost weight. But I, you know, I think that I've been doing quite well. You know, I wasn't like skipping meals and I was eating, you know, what I felt comfortable eating. But over the past few weeks, I've noticed especially, um, that's... Like, it's got harder and harder to do that. Over the past few weeks, I have been struggling a lot with meals and with eating. And it's, it's, I don't know, it's strange because I recognise it. So I'm very thankful that I can recognise it and I can recognise when I'm not eating because I didn't really do that, like, a few years ago. I couldn't do that i'd just go about my day and not really give it a thought but i do recognize that i'm maybe not eating and that you know something does need to change and i've been thinking a lot as to why i've suddenly just stopped eating um i think honestly it's just stress i think i'm not i'm not sure it could be something so oh mm, there was an issue, my kind of PTSD was triggered quite badly um, a few weeks ago. So that probably didn't help. I have been feeling quite sick as well, like nauseous. So obviously the last thing you want to do when you're feeling sick is eat. So that probably hasn't helped either. And obviously stress as well. Stress, stress does a lot of things to you. I was doing some research and I did find, I think the statistic is about 80% of people with anorexia will relapse in the, like the first year and it has been about a year it's been maybe a year to a year and a half since I did get my first like round of treatment so like that does line up um but like I was told when I was in treatment that once I finish my treatment I will be no less suspect suspect what what why can't I say anything I'll be no less like likely to develop an eating disorder but obviously that wasn't really true i don't know if they were saying that to kind of put me in the mindset that i wouldn't develop it again but that obviously wasn't true and i think a part of it is because i didn't finish my treatment it was cut short quite abruptly and i didn't get that chance to to finish it like i was still sick when they discharged me well they didn't even discharge me they just said we're gonna have some phone sessions and then yeah and again obviously it is my fault for not doing that follow-up session i'm not you know i'm not innocent in all this but i didn't think that i needed it at the time and up until a few weeks ago i would have i would have said the same thing like i don't need it i'm completely fine but it just sneaks up on you i think so yeah i've had a lot of stress in my life recently obviously my neighbors i've got a whole box set series about that um I've made a playlist about that, so that will be on my channel. Um, my we had an incident with the tutor the other day. He just, he said a few things that a tutor probably shouldn't say, um, which made us all feel just a bit worthless and a bit just not good enough, you know. Um, I almost set fire to my apartment last night. <laughs> I was making brownies and the greaseproof paper just caught fire in my in my oven. So that was another stressful situation. I'm just, yeah, I'm under a lot of stress right now. Obviously show week's coming up. I'm a theatre student, hi. Um, <laughs> yeah, show week's coming up. It's just really difficult. Um, 
but I'm glad that I can recognise that I'm not eating and that, you know, maybe it's time to focus on that a little bit. I don't currently know how much I weigh because I don't really like weighing myself. They did that at the eating clinic. They'd weigh you every week and I just, it was a mix of emotions. How have I got, what even is that? I've got like gold powder on my desk. Don't know where that's come from, but okay. Um, no, on the, in, in the eating clinic, they'd uh, weigh you every week. And it was a mix of emotions because if I'd gained weight, the first thing I'd think was, oh yeah, I've gained weight. And then within 30 minutes, I'd think, oh my God, I've gained weight. Like that's really bad because it's been drilled into us, especially by society that like gaining weight is bad. You need to lose weight. Look at all these like low calorie things and all these weight loss things. And I don't know, it, I, I felt bad for gaining weight. Then when I'd lose weight, the first thing I think is, oh damn it, I've lost weight. But then within 30 minutes, I think, well, that's a good thing because everyone's always pressuring people to lose weight. And that's, that's what I struggle with. You know, like I remember going to Superdrug one day and looking for weight gain things. And I went to the weight section and it was all weight loss. There's nothing for weight gain, like at all, which I think is just a society thing. And I honestly don't think it's going to change anytime soon because you know, I'm seeing, I don't know, like Kylie Jenner in a swimsuit looking exactly the same as I do. And she's getting praised for it. And I'm being told that I need to get professional help. Like, it's just, it's very confusing. I've been swatching literally every single video. I've just been, I've got crap on my hand because I've been swatching everything. But no, it definitely is difficult when you see these celebrities with the ribs showing and everyone's going, oh my God, you look amazing. You look so good. And then I look the same way and I'm being told that I need to get professional help. I often like find myself thinking back as well to times when I was at college and you know, it was when I was at my worst and there was this girl, she was absolutely lovely. Um, but I, I obviously didn't look healthy and this girl was like, oh my God, I wish I had your figure. Like your figure's amazing. And like people are getting praised for being unhealthy. And I don't think a lot of people, like a lot of people will, will look at someone overweight and be like, oh, like they're, they're overweight. And a lot of people won't look at me and think she needs the same help as maybe someone else who's on the other side of the spectrum. You know, I don't know. I'm just, my mind's racing right now. <laughs> I think another thing that's hard is because I'm at a drama school, I'm looking in mirrors all the time. I'm looking in big mirrors every day when I do dance and obviously I can't not look at myself because it's a dance studio and I feel confident you know I feel like I look good and obviously clearly I don't like I want to say as well like before I developed my eating disorder I wouldn't say I was big like not at all I was like normal size and I still think I'm normal size I don't see that I've lost weight like maybe a little bit like I don't see that I've lost a large amount of weight like at all yeah I don't know it's just really difficult I think really uh especially when you can't see it you know going back to that sky analogy you see the sky every day and it's blue so when someone turns around and says it's green it's like uh <laughs> okay and that's the same as when people are saying that I'm you know, too skinny or too this or too that. And obviously there are loads of people who are like, oh, self-love, love yourself. I'm like, I want to, but I also recognize that these people are telling me that I'm like dangerously underweight. So it's hard to love yourself when, when you're being told these things. And when you're being told that you're, you look unhealthy and that you look but <sighs> that was the pastel roses heartbreaker i think it's pretty nice okay i just put on k rose b cosmetics what's this called eerie on the inner corner this is also on my shop my stash i will be doing a new shop my stash very soon or i might have already done it by the time you're watching this i'm not too sure but 
definitely go and check that out if you're interested. I'm going to be doing them every month. I put way too much on my face. Yeah, I'm going to do shop my stashes every month because, I don't know, it's nice, isn't it, to just go through your collection and see what you've got. By the time you're watching this, I'll be on my Easter holidays, um, so that's good. Like, I won't have loads of stress of uni. <laughs> so that's something that I can just, like, take off and just chill out for a bit. But yeah, it's just hard going into uni, especially when, you know, we had that lecture from that tutor basically to, like I don't know if he meant it like this but it came across as him just saying we weren't good enough and you know hearing that when you've put in so much effort and so much hard work over such a long time is is really damaging and I've tried to explain like the situation to people and a lot of people were like oh it doesn't even sound that bad like but yeah he made a few people cry that day let's just say that okay i think i'm gonna finish off my eyes uh my lips and everything else and yeah i'll just come back and round up this video <laughs> okay i'm back i'm feeling i'm feeling good about myself i am um i had a rough day yesterday and i came back home and i was like i'm gonna do my makeup and then i put makeup on and i just i still felt shit so we're feeling good today, we're feeling good. Hopefully I don't set fire to my kitchen again. What is on my foot? Dust. Yeah, hopefully I won't set fire to my kitchen again today. Um, I might just order a takeout because, yeah. And yeah, here we are. Everything that I've used on my face will be linked down below. Look after yourself guys, because I'm not. <laughs> Again, just before you leave, be sure to like and subscribe because it does mean the world to me. It really, really does. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.